Start in Pakistan, where gunmen have attacked the country's stock exchange in Karachi, killing six people, including a policeman and two guards. Officials say all four attackers have been shot dead. Militants from the Balochistan Liberation Army stormed inside the compound, throwing grenades and firing indiscriminately. The police chief has said the situation is under control. All employees are reported to be safe now, having either managed to get out of the building or lock themselves in. Our correspondent Amer Draz reports from Lahore. This was the scene when four gunmen armed with sophisticated weapons stormed the stock exchange building in Karachi, Pakistan's financial hub. On a normal day, this building gets up to 8,000 people. At the time of attack, a large number of people were inside. The gunmen entered the premises from a rear parking lot and made their way to the main entrance, firing indiscriminately. The militants hurled a grenade at the private guards, securing the entrance. By the time reinforcements arrived, the guards managed to hold the gunmen from entering the building. Two of them were killed at the main gate on the road. Another one was killed at the next gate. The fourth terrorist was killed when he tried to enter through the gate of the main building. I believe the law enforcement agencies have done a great job. As a standard procedure, the police had to search and clear the building. The officials insist it was business as usual inside, despite an attack by insurgents unfolding outside. Thank God a huge disaster could have occurred, which has been averted. Life is normal, markets are open, everything is normal. There is no need for any concern. We are totally relaxed. A banned militant organization, Baloch Liberation Army, has claimed responsibility for the attack. BLA is one of the separatist groups active in Pakistan's restive Balochistan province. The group seeks separation from Pakistan, accusing the government of usurping their due rights. Since 2004, they have carried out multiple attacks against security forces in Pakistan. They were also linked to the attack on Chinese consulate in Karachi in 2018 that killed four. Pakistan's interior minister, Ijaz Shah, in a message said the country's security agencies will soon get to the masterminds of this attack. Omar Rangiana, BBC News. Okay, let's go live now to Karachi and speak to Reba Shahid. She's the business and economics journalist for the newspaper Pakistan uh, Today. Thank you very much, Reba, for joining us. Just bring us up to date on the uh, situation on the ground now. Is it all calm? Business as usual. Um, the stock market itself, the index went down during the attack and immediately afterwards the index recovered. Um, it's business as usual. The show must go on. Um, so on a normal day, the PSX has around more than 6,000 people coming in with the staff itself being a considerable number. But due to COVID-19, the number of people on premises were low. Um, approximately less than 2,000 people were there. Um, you see, the building is structured into in, in, in a way such that the trading hall is there. And on top of the trading hall are brokerage firm houses and another building with the administration. Uh, reports suggest that there was supposed to be a meeting of the board today which the terrorists tried to intercept. However, their plans were foiled by the law authorities. So I suppose the question is, why the Pakistan Stock Exchange? It's, it's an economic symbol. Um, not only is it an economic symbol, but uh, the Balochistan Liberation Army that has claimed to take um, responsibility for the attack has previously also attacked the Chinese consul in 2018 and considering China's interest within the stock exchange and how Shanghai um, Stock Exchange owns or uh, is a majority shareholder within the stock market, um, you know, you could see why they cho chose to attack on the stock exchange itself, considering their, uh, their hindrances towards China and its investment in Pakistan. Okay, Ariba, we'll have to leave it there. Thanks very much uh, for bringing us up to date there on the situation. That was Ariba Shahid joining us there from Karachi.